Thank you so much. I am happy to welcome every, everybody, my friends, my colleagues. I'd like to share my view as to reconstruction after reconstruction. M many opinions have been voiced. Is there the ideal result after repeated reconstructions? We are haunted by these reconstructions during our day-to-day -day work that I decided to entitle my presentation Myth or Reality? Can we achieve the ideal result after the repeated reconstruction? In principle, I support Dmitry that radiation therapy influences greatly the aesthetic results. But we shouldn't forget, and the slide shows uh, that, at least one complication may happen in 1.5 years in 40% of patients with a double stage reconstruction implanted expander. Uh, it's uh, the most famous operation. And 25% uh, reconstruction with autologous flap, again, problems with uh, radiation therapy. 21% of non-radiated patients with reconstruction and implants and expanders. I'd like to say that the algorithm of the choice of reconstruction should take into account uh, radiation therapy, of course, but we shouldn't forget that delayed reconstruction, what we do there after radiation therapy, may have nearly 40% of complications. A great number of complications uh, that happen during the immediate reconstruction. We have the questions. Shall we do the second repeated reconstruction after that? Because uh, the repeated reconstruction may lead to more complications. Is it possible to do? Uh, there are complications in his, his sin. I'll continue. What we do if after the immediate or delayed reconstruction we lose the implant or what we do when we lose the flap after immediate or delayed reconstruction? We performed the reconstruction with this or that, by this or this means. We have the complication. We lose the aesthetic results. What can we suggest what can offer to a patient or to a surgeon? The slide shows what kind of options we have to correct the situation. I'm not going to list them. I'd like to show step by step. First, there may be double stage reconstruction after we lose aesthetic result. Of course, we can use expander implant method. What we do in this case, we should, uh, we are need to achieve an expanded, uh, desirable tissue expansion. We can use autologous flap. Of course, we may face the situation with the deficit of the tissues. Then we can use a deep flap and replace deep flap to tissue expander. You can see the patient before the operation in seven days after the reconstruction with the deep flap. The flap was removed three weeks after removal of the flap. Then in one month, oh, we placed the tissue expander, 450. And you can see when we change uh, the tissue expanded to implant, we have uh, this. Then uh, the loose, we lose uh, flap, and we replace deep flap uh, to with the tissue expander. You can see the necrosis of the flap before reconstruction in three days, after deep flap reconstruction in four weeks after operation, and then. Uh, In double stage reconstruction expander implant, when we 
what kind of options there may be. Most of all, uh, we change uh, their pocket for and the prosthesis placement for implant placement. We change uh, the implant uh, with the autologous uh, coating, uh, plus uh, with the covering of the inferior slope. And then we change the implant or endoprosthesis with other coating. Uh, there may be, uh, we can remove uh, and the prosthesis and change implant to implant. What kind of options we have? The change of coating, textured for textured, textured for polyurethane implant, polyurethane implant. We can change for polyurethane implant or polyurethane for textured implant. When do we change the methods of implant placement? We can change the pocket. We can place prepectoral, subpectoral. Uh, we try to prevent uh, the complications. Maybe we use different uh, covering uh, materials, ADM or mesh implant. We can use uh, the flap of the musculus latissimus dorsi. This patient, after uh, the immediate reconstruction and bilateral subcutaneous mastectomy and placement of the polyurethane implant, we have the complication after uh, radiation therapy, capsular contraction. Uh, then we see on the left uh, the severe contraction on the left, and we change uh, the implant with the polyurethane coating uh, to mesh implant in the low slope, inferior slope. The, in, this change, in this patient, we are trying to change uh, their implant that would place prepectoral for textured coating in six months. And we did this submuscularly. In six months, we see the results. One more clinical case, when we change the implant with this textured coating for the mesh implant. It's a different principle. Removing textured implant, we changed this for polyurethane coating implant. In this situation, you can see we used uh, the musculus gluteus flap for reconstruction. On the fourth day, we lose uh, their implant and we removed uh, the flap. And in one year, uh, we replaced this with their textured coating implant. One more option so that we have the change of endoprosthesis in case of unsuccessful immediate reconstruction. We can use uh, the flap together with the implant. Mostly we are talking about toracodorsal flap that can be a severe flap. We didn't use this frequently during immediate reconstruction. We use this during delayed reconstruction as a savior technique. We lose prosthesis after protrusion as a result of neoadjuvant chemotherapy. We remove the implant on the left and use the toracodorsal flap together with the implant with the polyurethal coating. One more patient, we used toracodorsal flap together with the implant because of the failure, previous failure as a protrusion and infection complication. We removed the implant after the treatment, and in one year, after delayed reconstruction, we use toracodorsal flap together with the implant with the textured coating. One more case, the use of toracodorsal flap. You can use frequently, um, uh, mostly all these losses, uh, they happened as a result of their radiation therapy or near adjuvant polychemotherapy. 
in principle, the use of the toracodosal flap is a very good option to achieve a good result after failure. And of course, you can use in this case when uh, during immediate reconstruction you used the uh, implant, and mostly we change it to autologer's flap. If we have the complications or with the silicon implants, you can use any flap, any type of flap, even a muscular pedicle flap uh, can be used. Are the different uh, flaps and uh, perforated flaps, musculus gluteus flap or lumbar flap, LAP? It depends on the choice of a surgeon uh, who can select this or that reconstruction. One more case when we try to change implant after failure. Uh, that it was uh, it was placed prepectorally polyurethral contraction. Then in one year severe contraction, we change implant to uh, pr to deep uh, flap from the abdominal wall. One more patient when we play uh, changed uh, polyurethral flap too deep flap. You can see after radiation therapy contracture happened and then a very good result. One more clinical example. When we see in 11 months after radiation therapy there is protrusion, uh, the placement of the secondary sutures uh, is not successful, was not successful, and in five months uh, we do the change uh, the implant to deep flap in five months. In this case, we used a variant of a tram flap. You can see after expander placement. Expand the placement. The patient uh, didn't decide to go further. Uh, there are, uh, we used later tram flap in six months. There are cases when we lose uh, flap flaps during reconstructions. Uh, there may be failures uh, when we use uh, their removable or uh, rearranged flaps or free flaps. So we change the flap to implant. Uh, there we failed using toracodosal flap. Uh, we decided to change this to implant. There was the bilateral mastectomy. On the right, uh, there good reconstruction. On the left, failure. And we removed both flap and endoprosthesis. The similar reconstruction when we change uh, their expander to implant. Of course, so we should. Uh, Bear in mind uh, there is very big discussable methods, lipothealing. We don't have extensive uh, experience to recreate uh, the full volume of the breast, but we decided to mention this because uh, this method does exist, and lipothealing can be used. There are uh, data that auto tissue grafting can be used. As a conclusion, I'd like to say that reconstruction after the immediate reconstruction is a reality. If a patient is ready for this, the patient is to be ready that uh, she will come for the repeated reconstruction. We can use a great number of modalities, so these or that type of reconstruction. I think that in the hands of a plastic surgeon, uh, there is a great number of options to achieve uh, good results after the previous immediate reconstruction failure. I am very happy. I would like 
to express my great thanks to all the organizers of the forum. I'd like to express my deep gratitude to all the colleagues.